everyone it's me again Mamariel. welcome to my channel so for this video i'm going to discuss the division on operations and functions from my latest video about operation and functions hindi ako nakapag focus kay division which is yung inilagay ko lang ng mga examples doon is yung hindi na siya na factorize or na simplify so I've decided to create another tutorial video about division and functions wherein meron na involved na factorization and mm -hmm. simplify. Let's say for example, we have f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 1. So we have f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. Same process, we're just going to substitute the value of f of x or ito and g of x. I divide lang natin siya. So, we have x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. The next step that you are going to do is to look at the equation if masisimplify nyo pa ba siya or mafafactorize. If ever hindi nyo siya masisimplify, kagaya nung sa latest video ko, the answer is this already. Para lang siyang naka-fraction. But then again, as you can see, simplify pa natin to using factoring like x squared minus 1. So, ano ba ang factor ng x squared minus 1? We have x minus 1 and x plus 1. So, how are you going to check if tama ba yung factor mo? Kapag mag-check kayo, i-check nyo palagi yung constant term. Which is negative 1 times 1. The answer is negative 1. Tingnan nyo siya dito. Okay? Then, Negative 1 plus 1, the answer is 0. Okay, so kaya x squared minus 1 lang siya. So, over x plus 1. Okay, next is to cancel it out. Then, the answer is x minus 1. Okay, look at example number 2. We have f of x is equal to 12x plus 6. And g of x is equal to 4x minus 2. So, we're going to divide f of x is 12x plus 6 over g of x is 4x minus 2. Again, the first thing to do is tingnan ninyo kung kaya bang i-factor or i-simplify. Okay? In this case, kaya siya. Hanapan natin siya ng factor. Si 12x plus 6. 12x plus 6. 6 si second term. Try na din natin siya. And may factor naman siya kay 12 which is 6 times 2. So, we have 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2x. Then, 6 divided by 6 is equal to positive 1. Alright. So, by that, na-factor na natin siya. If you're going to check, just do distribution property like 6 times 2x is equal to 12x and 6 times 1 is equal to 6. Alright. So, positive 6 yan. Alright. So, with regards to the denominator for x minus 2, so, ang factor natin dyan is 2 since 2 siya. So, we have 2. Okay. 2 divided by 4x is equal to 2x. And 2 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 1. Okay. So, right after that, we're just going to divide 6 to 2. is equal to 3. And then, 2x plus 1 over so, 2x minus 1 na lang siya. And the answer will be 3 times 2x plus 1 over 2x minus 1. Okay, so next we have example number 3. f of x is equal to x squared plus 7x plus 12. And g of x is equal to x plus 4. f of x is x squared plus 7x plus 12 divided by x plus Four. Take a look at that. Yung numerator natin is a quadratic function, right? So, what are we going to do by that? We are going to factor it out. And how to factor? Just have parentheses. Okay? Since ang factor ng x squared is x times x. And then, anyway, dapat alam nyo na din kung paano mag-factor. Okay? So, tingnan nyo lang si 12. Ano ba ang factor ni 12? We have 4 times 3 and 6 times 2. Factor ito ni 12 ba? Ah. Okay. Hey, kapag ka nailagay nyo na yung factor ng third term or ng constant natin which is 12, 
titingnan nyo si middle term. Okay? 7x siya, ba? Diba? Sa so, tingin nyo ba, kapag pinag-add natin si 6 and 2, magiging 7. So, hindi siya yung pwede gagamitin natin. Kasi 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Take a look at 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, pasok siya. And then, 4 plus 3 is positive 7x. By that, alam nyo na kung anong factor ni x squared plus 7x plus 12. So, we have x plus 4 and x plus 3. Okay? So, over x plus 4. Sa numerator, which is x plus 4, may kagaya ba siya? Sa denominator, yes. Sa x plus 3 ba, may kagaya kay denominator? Wala. So, ikakancel out natin sa x plus 4. And then, ang natira na lang ay si x plus 3. So, the answer is x plus 3. Okay, so take a look at example number 4. We have f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 24. And g of x is equal to x minus 6. So we have f of x over g of x. Our f of x is x squared minus 2x minus 24 over x minus 6, which is our g of x. So what are we going to do is to factor the numerator. Rather, ang factor ng x squared is always x times x. Okay, so by that, ang intindihan nyo na lang is yung factor ni negative 24. Tingnan natin kung ano magiging factor ni negative 24. So, pwede siyang negative 6 times 4. ba? And negative 8 times 3. Or negative 24 times 1. Why? Negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Negative 8 times 3 is negative 24. Negative 24 times 1 is negative 24. So, by that, mamimili na lang tayo, which is ang pagbabasehan ninyo is yung the middle term, which is negative 2x. Okay? So, kapag pinagsama ba si negative 24 plus 1, ang sagot ay negative 2. Diba hindi? Kapag ba pinagsama si negative 8 and 3, or negative 8 plus 3, is it negative 2? Hindi, di ba? Negative 5, di ba? Okay, so, take a look at this. Negative 6 plus 4. We have negative 2. So, by that, alam nyo na kung anong magiging factor niya, which is negative 6 and positive 4. Since negative 6 times 4 is negative 24, and negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Okay? So, copy na lang si denominator, which is x minus 6. Then, cancel out yung magkatulad. And the answer will be x plus 4. Okay, so for example number 5, we have f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3. And g of x is equal to 4x cubed plus 1. So, we are going to divide 2x squared plus 3 over 4x cubed plus 1. 1. Okay, so next thing to do is to look at the equation if kaya pa bang ma-reduce, kaya pa bang ma-simplify or ma-factorize. So as you can see in the equation, we can do nothing about this. So just stay as it is. So yan na yung pinaka-sagot natin. Okay, so ilalagay ko yung link sa description box. Um, we're in doon yung makikita yung tutorial ko about Operation and functions focus on addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Anyway, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something. And I'm so glad to know your thoughts and suggestions. Comment down below. Magbabasa po ako. And any topics na masasuggest nyo about mathematics, gagawa natin yun ng tutorial. So, thank you so much everyone for watching. God bless us all. Music